Monday morning, and we kick off another week with another Big Take. The Big Take on Kale & Company. All right, today's Big Take, the parental bill of rights and a Democrat's retort. For way too long, many parents have had it up to here with their children being indoctrinated in schools by left-wing educators. Many parents, including myself and Dawn, believe in the concept of school choice for parents and their children. On Friday, the GOP-led House voted to pass a Parental Bill of Rights Act over objections from Democrats who argued the bill is aiming to protect fascism and extreme views of Republicans by making it easier for parents to ban books. The GOP bill is a response to growing anger across the country about access to information on everything from school curricula to safety and mask policies to the prevalence of gender ideology and critical race theory in the classroom. Parents' anger over these issues at school board meetings led to an effort by the Biden administration's Justice Department to examine the disturbing trend of violent threats against school officials. House Republicans reacted by approving the Parents' Bill of Rights Act, which would require school districts to give parents access to curriculum and reading lists and would require schools to inform parents if school staff begin encouraging or promoting their child's gender transition. Here is Kevin McCarthy, House Majority Leader, on what this bill aims to accomplish. We have a parent's bill of rights now. This says the parent can now know what's being taught in the school. This is now saying the parents can now look at the reading material. It's now saying the parents can now see what the money is being spent on us. It's now saying that the parents can protect their kids' privacy. It now says the parents can have a notification if there's any violent activity on campus. But unfortunately, the Democrats are too extreme to believe that parents should have a say in their kids' education. OMG, the audacity of the GOP. How dare they? Fascism, extremism. (laughs) Yeah, the Parental Bill of Rights, such a drastic step in the wrong direction. Let's go through these again, as you just heard from Kevin McCarthy. Number one, the right to know what's being taught in schools and see reading materials. Yeah, that's extreme. The right to be heard. Incredibly extreme. The rights to see school budgets and spending. Definitely extreme. The right to protect your child's privacy. That is fascist. And the right to be notified of any violent activity at school. Yep, this is so drastic. How dare Republicans ask for those five things, especially when they pay for the salaries of teachers, at least in the public school system. And every time the left doesn't agree with someone or something, they go to the most radical of rebuttals. You're racist, you're homophobic and every other discriminatory term known to man. And God forbid you are a female minority who stands up to the Democrats. Then they'll just label you an Uncle Tom just for being a common-sense, logic-using, free-thinking American. And that's what's happened in Minnesota, where a minority female attorney, who is a mother of two, took the stand on Tuesday of last week to urge the Democrats in Minnesota not to pass an omnibus education policy bill in which Minnesota Democrats think politicized ethnic studies should be required in all K-12 through schools. Take a listen to this mother's response. My name is Coffee Monska. I'm an attorney, wife, and mom to three boys, two of which are in high school. This bill requires that schools teach ethnic studies starting in kindergarten, and I'm against this. You might ask, why in the world would a black person speak against ethnic studies? Because not everything that sounds good is good. The definition of ethnic studies right there in the statute says that there's a connection between a person's race and their stratification. The bill tells kids of color that they are stuck in a caste system based on their race. It also tells kids, and I quote, that institutions chronically favor white people and disadvantage people of color. I'm sick of everyone denying the enormous progress we've made in this country, acting like it's 1930. We used to have a race-based system. We got rid of it, and now you're all trying to bring it back. This curriculum will not help kids of color succeed. All it does is remove any reason to try. And I repeat that, it removes any reason to try. And this is not some theoretical crap. This stuff happens. These messages are very harmful. Just last month in my high schooler's band class, 
The teacher took 20 minutes at the beginning of class to talk about anti-racism. He told the kids to look around. And then he said, the black boys in the school would likely not live to retirement because of racism and the police. Another furious kid of color recorded this conversation. And so I was able to hear it for myself with my own ears. If this law is passed, teaching this hopelessness to kids of color will be mandated starting in kindergarten. And I can see why you white proponents of this bill might support it. It's not your kids being told that they can't succeed and you get to shed some of your white guilt in the process. But you legislators of color, how can you? You made it despite the invisible boogeyman of systematic racism. You were voted in by a majority of white people. You hold some of the most powerful positions in this state. Yet you wanna tell my kids and other kids of color that they can't succeed? It's shameful, it's terrible. I ask that you please vote against this bill. Thank you for this opportunity. Incredibly well said by that mother. But the question is, why? Why are left-wing schools and educators teaching this? Why are they hell-bent on this curriculum at such a young age? Because it's all political. They want your child to come to the false realization at an early age that they are victims. That they can't succeed in America because they were born something other than white. It grooms hate and anger by the time these children are six years old. It only builds as they get older and they move up through the education system. And the end goal, well, it's very simple, to create more division and keep the divide going for the next generation, because that's what Democrats do. Their entire playbook is based off of racism, division, and victimhood, and they are grooming the next wave of the future so their party's mission statement doesn't die out and fade away. And that's the big take. The Big Take on Kale and Company. Start your day with Kale and Company. Weekday mornings 6 till 10 on Talk Radio 1210, WPHT, and the free Odyssey app.